Hey, hi everybody. Welcome to my uh, my beautiful home, uh, David's Kitchen. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot happening here. Wow. Oh man, look at that. You know, we uh, had to say goodbye to the to the waterfall. Yeah, you know, the snail I was I was growing. Well, it it really uh, it didn't have a problem. I moved it outside, but. Uh, Humidity in a home is not the best idea. And Sarah was saying, well, you know, it's kind of moist in here. So I, I pulled it out. Yeah. I didn't really think it was uh, good for the house. Humidity in the house is not the best thing. So you'd have to run a dehumidifier. So welcome to Bison Spaghetti. And with buttered squash. Yeah. We're going to do something special today. Yeah. Let me get the chat room. This is Technology Thursday. Yeah, I'm going to do some uh, light cooking, but first I'm going to get some coffee going here. So what I've been doing is I've been using my uh, front burner on Melt to get my coffee going. And I'm not using the microwave anymore because I, I saw that video that we saw on TV where water was watering. They, they took microwave water and regular water, just tap water, and microwave water killed the plant of the same variety. So it happened time and time again. So I'm, I'm going with not microwaving my water now. I figured, you know, since I'm becoming more concerned about my health, you know, as I get older, uh, why not? Yeah, Li Cheng Yen uh, was uh, 265 years old and he studied herbals, herbs and wild crafting. And that's kind of what I do. So I only have another 200 and four years to go oh whoa do you see that that was the melt feature yeah I want to show that to you okay so today we're going to be uh, starting with of course the onion but the pan back here can get hot we'll start that up looks clean enough for me oh I'm sorry it's very very loud do you want me to turn the volume down just say so I uh, got a hell, hell of a deal on bison yeah I'll show it to you in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and open up the, the show and get at least the chat happening. Yeah. All right. I'm hoping you're having a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. A beautiful day for neighbors. Not affiliated with Mr. Rogers. All right. Here we go. We're using Firefox on the on the show on the one. Let's see if it works. No, nope, not getting it. Yeah. Okay, let's try another browser. Huh, yeah, it's a little. Oh, hey, I'm going to turn that down to just simmer just to get it warm going. Yeah. Yeah, that's strange. Wait a second. So it uses that browser for iBlog. Huh. Maybe I was using Edge. Yeah, let's try Edge. Not that I would like Edge, but you know. so strange it was working last week for me but it's not working now huh. I'll try again you that jet we got in the back room background it, it goes on all the time around here thanks for wearing socks no I, I don't I have beautiful bare feet I'd show you my feet but but there's too many weirdos out there 
I'm not sure how Sarah watches the chat. Yeah, it's just kind of strange. You know, I'm going to download a, a one that I know will work on this thing. Yeah, let me see if I can load a browser while I'm waiting for it here. Well, that's weird. Ah, somebody bought the, the browser I was using. No kidding. So there's no more downloads of that browser? Oh, I've got like a stealth browser. That's cool. Uh, not so cool for from my perspective. Let me see if I get one more browser option here. Well, better yet, let's try it. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try pasting it in the Opera again. Yeah, it's, it, this is Technology Thursday at its, at its worst. So, yeah. We're already 12 minutes into the dinner, and we're running late. Whew, hopefully this will work. Nope, same problem. No. Okay, well, they've implemented some techniques so that reading the browser becomes more difficult for me. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but it used to work fine. Yeah. Maybe Firefox added some no, new layer of protection. You know, they do that. How much donation is... I can't read what you're saying. Just hit enter a couple more times. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. Well, we can't spend our time looking at the browser, can we? Let's start cooking. I'll just do what I do best. Lights. Camera. Action. Yeah. I'm not sure what you're writing, but I can see like dithered images behind it. I, I see that Andy said, how much is your, how much donation is? Yeah, that's all I can see. Okay, that's still hot. I'm going to spray some of this uh, safflower oil on it. The uh, pan, I like safflower oil the best. Yeah. That's interesting. So I probably have the only copy of this browser that I'm using. I'm not going to even tell you the name of it because you can't get it. That's really amazing. And it's such a great browser, you know, because they, they don't, they're adding things to the browsers now that make it much more difficult to, uh, uh, to get into websites. They're going to try to create an intranet in the browsers, I think. Now, there are a lot of great browsers, of course, you know, you can use Opera, Brave, Edge, Chrome, but there's some odd ones out there. I should try the odd one. But I don't really, I can't really do that and peel the onion, so. Alexa, please access the browser. I'm sorry, Dave, you're not currently hooked up. Oh, God. Well, Siri, access browser list for me. Dave, you are not connected to Siri at this moment. Oh. Well, you know, I really have to go in the other room to connect to those networks. Okay, so I just throw those in, my, in the pan. It doesn't have to be hot. I sprayed some, you know, a little oil in there. I'm just getting started. Now you can wrap it up to level three. I had it warm, but David, uh, are those 40s? Yes, they are. I am wearing 40s. Don't I look dapper? I realize that you think that I'm a robot. That is ridiculous. I am normal like you. Okay, come on. Let's get real here. I tightened down to a 39.
Okay, well, granted, I had a little extra food last week. But I am on the diet. I, I really am. Okay. Uh, you know, let me tell you about the ground bison. You know, I walked into a store and I realized that this stuff's on sale. And I, I said, raised. it says raised without antibiotics, no added hormones. And it was raised in, uh, I believe, in the area, let's see where it was raised. Colorado. Henderson, Colorado. Yeah, now they make great food out there, and the bison, of course, is the last remaining meat product from the buffalo era, right? Well, I said to myself, well, how much could this possibly be? And I was thinking, well, probably eight ninety nine. And it was six ninety nine, and I took four dollars off with two four two dollar reductions. So, yeah, it was like two ninety nine, no three ninety nine. Sorry. Anyway. Yeah, it was, it was around $4. So that was $4. That's a lot of meat for $4, and it's ready to just pop in the pan. So all I'm really going to do is cut it, or, you know, pull it right out and set it right in the pan on top of that. I'm warming up some water on the side here to make some spaghetti, too. Now, typically, my spaghetti only costs about a dollar. And I always make sure I get the non-GMO brand. As you can see, there's no genetically modified wheat in there. So I'll be cooking with the angel hair tonight. I'm going to be making a really fast pasta. It's like a speed getty. Yeah, and I need it to get hotter. So I'm going to take it up to level six. I'm standing here looking at this burner. This burner always takes a lot longer to warm up. That's a deadly weapon. I'm not sure what you're saying. Let me refresh. Oh, so when I refresh, it starts to, yeah. You're still saying the same thing. Oh, well, forget you. You know, I might as well just go to iBlog. You people have more to say. Yeah. Yeah. That's the trick. Hold on, please. All right, let's go. Let's do it. It's going to be exciting. We are entering speed mode. Okay, the onions are starting to grill. Yeah. Let's cut this off here. Exposing the raw meat. It's hard to get some of these packages open, you know, it, it, without, you know, using your brain. What I usually do is, is end up having to pull it apart. Because if you cut into the meat, you're cutting the, you know, plastic into the meat. So that's not good. There we go, see. Once you get in, you get your finger in the meat there. I feel the bison. <gasps> you know, I'd like to say a little prayer for this bison that donated its life to our dinner tonight. As a very important message, I'd also like to, you know, remember that the bison really are descendants of that era where Indians lived off of this meat. This would feed a family of whatever, 10, 8, 
the Indians probably, you know, the Native Americans probably had big, huge slabs of bison. You know, you can only imagine how much feast they had. But this is all we can afford in our new COVID economy. Okay, it's going down on the onion with a little grilled onion taste to it. Come on, get in there. You'd think this would be the, the easiest part of it. You know, this bison is just being really artery. There we go. Praise it. Praise the bison. Okay, let's get some Italian seasoning on there now. Yeah. What about a teaspoon of it on there? Yeah. And get a, a spatula and start chopping it in there and put it on the onions. Make sure nothing's sticking though. If you need more oil, feel free. I'm free to use the oil. I'm an oil user. This is a real sense of freedom I'm, I'm having here. Wow, that was a rare moment. I feel so free. You know, it's kind of a fun thing to, to, to press down on the meat because you know that you're going to need a little paprika. Take a little paprika. Beep, 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 beep. Error, error. Check it out. Not too much, just a little. And what I like to do is flip that, that beef, you know? Just flip it over. It hit the grill first, and now you're, just, you're gonna start getting in more, ah yes, more tender. All right, now we're gonna cut the uh, green pepper, which was expensive, you know? 75 cents for the green pepper, 25 cents for the onion, jeez. It adds up. I'm gonna put the rest of the onion in on top, so let's do that. Yeah, I always try to stay away from that knife, you know? Being on bare feet, if the knife drops, I could lose one of my beautiful toes. You never know, you know? That knife is, is a deadly weapon. So you gotta be very careful with it. That's why I have fingernails, to take the onion skin off. Jeez, there we go. Okay, and just do a little slicey slicey wicey here of the onion. See how I hold it and put the knife in between and just go like that. Always keeping an eye on the knife. Do not drop your eyes from the knife or your fingers might get cut. We wouldn't want that. Okay, throw that on top of the cooking bison. Yeehaw! Check out that bison, yeah. Look at that meat cook. All righty. Go ahead and press down on that again. Crisscross your cut, pressing in the onions. And you know, I'm gonna throw a little garlic powder on this guy and yeah, some more Italian seasoning too. Maybe another teaspoon, you yeah, know, why not? I'm gonna get the flavor up. Now, as you know, I buy uh, pre-made, yeah, I buy pre-made sauces like this O brand, Organics, Four Cheese. It's the way to go, I'm telling you. If you cook this like a mama Leone, she put she could cook up for four hours before the sauce even gets a wet wet. Yeah, the Italians sweated their uh, their sauces. They just the, the, you know they put them in in a hot oven and just kind of sweat them with basil. That's why Italian sauce is so good. The slow way. Okay, we're gonna cut that off there and. Just shaved, you know, it shouldn't be more than four cuts on these things. You want to make sure you don't get near the seed pod because that, you know, of course, puts seeds in your dinner and you don't want that. So we're going to cut down here. You know, I was looking for a USB splitter at, at the uh, thrift store this past week and, you know, there wasn't one computer part. I'm going, wow, people are really using used computers. Yeah, I mean, desktops are becoming like fully utilized, you know. I'm sure you can use a USB splitter for everything. Hey, get back here. 
That was not supposed to happen. We lost the pepper. We're about to lose another pepper. Okay, nice big chunks on these these green peppers. They take, they kind of add to the meal. A big mouthful of green pepper. Okay, otherwise you lose them. Now normally I would put carrots in this, but it would take too long to cook. But I am going to put mushrooms in here. You know, you always want to make sure with the peppers too, you, you want to make sure there's no peelings on it, like, you know, label. The worst thing you can get is a pepper with a label on it. I buy my peppers without labels, so I actually think of that. Okay, we're going to take a little garlic and a little mushroom. Okay. Yes, the mushrooms are a little bit more expensive, it's true. But I keep them in a sealed container so they last longer. You can take these wraps and, and pull them all the way off and, and put them back on. They actually keep the uh, mushrooms a little longer. And I'm just doing a few for flavor. Not that many. And with the mushrooms, you just want to do a quick dice. So eventually I'll find a shriveled green pepper down on the side of my, uh, my, my stove. That, won't that be nice? It'll be dehydrated. It'll be the last piece of food on earth. It's like, oh, there's got to be some food left. It'll be that one green pepper. I remember that from 19... 2021. Oh, that was a good year. Remember the days when we had food? Oh no. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I've always told Sarah, you know, when we went to buffets, I said, every time I went practically, I said, you know, this may be, you know, the end of our buffet run pretty soon. I always knew it was coming. Sure, you can go out to the buffets and eat. Yeah, you can still do it. Yeah, but with with all the shedding going on, you don't know. You know, it's like, ooh, I don't know. I'm just very precautious now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and massage that into the the meal, the garlic and the mushrooms, and kind of press everything to the bottom, but keep the meat at the bottom. All right, good. All right, we're getting a good cook on that on that beef. It's gonna be super low in cholesterol too. Okay, covering up, entering steam fry phase. Okay, hope everyone's doing well. You know, I'm getting tired of the shenanigans going on with these with these browsers. It's just ridiculous. I mean, I wouldn't doubt Sarah saw the show fine with with that the other day. I'm gonna have to ask her. David, you don't need any buffets. What? I'm not round? Are you kidding me? What the hell, man? I'm like, I'm big. I'm big like, you know, the uppercut. Yeah. No, I'm really muscular. You have no idea. You wouldn't want to get near me in a, in a public area. Yeah, the whole thing. Legs, too. I work out all the time. Kind of like Arnold. But I don't say, screw your freedom. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, we've got a little bubble going in the uh, the water over here. Isn't that special? Bubble, bubble. You know, I'm gonna make a half a package of angel hair because you know I, I get tired of eating all the pasta. Yeah, so I'm just going to make a small one because I'm not big on pasta myself. This way Sarah can have a few lunches and I'm going to save half the sauce for like a, a chili or something. You know what I mean? Like a Tex-Mex chili. You know what I mean, Burn? So what I do is I just kind of open it up this far, grab part of it. Wait a second, that's not boiling enough. I got to get it boiling. I want a roaring boil, none of this halfway boil. Yeah, I gotta get that boiling. Hang on. 
Okay, so I kind of read your chat. You know, I'm 6'4". No, I'm 6'4". You can't see the muscle under my body? I mean, what are you, like dense or something? <laughs> uh, Dave, I don't know, man. You look pretty fat to me. <laughs> Jeez. Now I'm like 215, 220. Right in there. My ideal weight is 200. Yeah, but I'm, you know... I need to carry a little extra weight around in case we have an apocalypse so I can draw on some fat. Because you don't, you don't know when your next meal is going to come during the apocalypse. Until you take it. And take you, until you take your next meal. Well, are you going shopping today? Uh, no, I'm just going to go taking. Okay, let's get that, that stirred now. Pull it off the bottom. You don't want to go too carbonized, otherwise you lose that protein. And I was going to make a bolognese sauce, but this meat is a little more crumbly, uh, less crumbly than a bolognese sauce. So. Oh yes, my bolognese sauce it requires a very, very small blend of, of crumbles. Yes. Okay, w when those vegetables get tender, and the, the green pepper is almost there, I'm going to give it a, like two, three more minutes. Then I'm going to throw some spaghetti sauce in there. I'm going to add uh, some marinara. I've got some marinara too. From I bought these for like a dollar a piece. They were normally uh, four dollars. Okay, we got a boil. All right, it's going over there. Okay, so you take take this section right here and kind of split it in half and grab a portion of it like that by the neck, pulling it out. And then take it to hold it over the water and break it right in like you're breaking bread. Now, if you want to have whole spaghetti, you know, you'd get a bigger container to cook your spaghetti in. Right. Okay. And then just take a spatula and kind of stir it in a little bit. Whoa, a little splash back. Now, angel hair won't take more than eight minutes. So I'm just going to keep it sitting there and I'll keep an eye on it. Meanwhile, I'm going to start putting the uh, tomato sauce on top of the container there that's boiling. All right. It was less than five minutes, if you were timing. Yeah, this is kind of the marinara has like a little olive oil in it too. So I'm just going to put that down first. I'm going to take the container. there buddy I had to change my water filter yesterday it was kind of intense okay give that spaghetti a little stir you don't want it to stick you want it to break apart yeah I don't know I mean it seems like water filters are taking longer now so I went in and I opened up my water filters and I, I throw that water out right in there with it and then I found a uh, Mmm, that's good marinara. The way Mama used to make it, huh? Mama, and those aren't recyclable, I don't think. I was out picking up garbage in my neighborhood. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. My place only takes one or two peas. I'd have to drive all the way to uh, Bellevue to deliver that to a recycler. Okay. There we go. Take the whole jar, and you can replace, you can get these types of jars for a dollar at the dollar store. They just aren't organic. Just pour it right in there. Now, all of it. And then give it a little stir making sure that the spaghetti sauce reaches the bottom of the pan. There you go. Still looking at, uh, at cooking at level six. I'm noticing my dish is a little dry. You know, I mean, that sauce is hit, almost hitting the pan dry, so 
I can definitely add a little more water to this and get the rest of this out of the container. Okay, we're almost done. I'm going to turn the, uh, the pasta off. And then I'll put the little bit of water in here too. Filtered water. Guys, I just got out and cleaned all every, every filter I had because I was going, you know, there's not enough water. Give that a shake. Rattle and roll and pour that right in there. Making sure there's no sticking at the bottom. Remember, we're running at a high, high level, so you don't want to stick. Level six is not low. It's pretty high. Medium, medium high. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, now comes the uh, the cooking phase. I'm going to turn it down to three. And because these sauces are already pre-made, this whole dish is like a super snap, you know. Boy, I've got all that bison juice in here. I should flavor the, uh, the pasta with bison juice. And I'll just put it right in the meat. There we go. A little raw bison juice in there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to lose any of it. Remember, this this animal died and gave its life to you, so you could eat it. Capiche? Yeah, that way you don't have the smell of the... Uh... Of an old packet of meat sitting in your garbage can. Okay, that pasta's got to come out of the water immediately. Otherwise, it gets kind of, kind of uh, doughy. Uh-oh. Got to pull it apart, too. All right. There we go. I think doughy is the wrong word starchy. Okay, so I'm going to rinse this out. It's going to go in here. And we've got that cooking on medium. All the other burners are off. And I'm going to spray a little oil on top. Right there. You can't really see it. Or you can. Okay, and then just take a uh, take a little chopstick and move it around. Oh, okay, Dave, I did not know you have chopsticks. Oh yeah, I have everything. That way it doesn't get too. Uh, yeah, too gluey. Gluey and starchy. I can't eat this. Why can't you eat this? What is wrong with the food? Are you unable to eat? Is your mouth somehow wired shut? Better watch out. I have a tough right jab. Dude, you keep coming in here and, and telling me that my food sucks. What's wrong with you? As you recall, as you can see, in case you know how to read, there's an area here called buttered squash. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here on level three in the front burner here. And I've accommodated $2 for the squash, so I'm just going to put a little water and a little oil in the pan, like that. Okay, let the thing get up to three, and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got 
one squash, yellow squash, and one very handsome zucchini. Now, let me tell you a story about the yellow squash that met the zucchini. It's a rather remarkable story of love and tenderness. Yeah, so let me share that with you. But first, let me put my waste material in the compost heap. Hold, please. Uh, you can look at the squash now. Isn't that nice? I know what you're saying. David, how do you maintain such perfect hair? Well, I my stylist said, David, you have to keep a very short haircut to look younger. Because you're getting on in here. Okay, so I store the rest of this by just putting it in one of those recyclable bags. Yeah, right, sure. And then zip it around like that. Keep the oxygen in. It's not keeping the oxygen in. Right. And then this kind of a bag I store for later. Alright. is perhaps best described as a little bit of heaven. Julia Childs, you know the legendary Julia Childs who looks like me? Bon appétit! Hello, David! Hello, Julia. How are you? I'm doing fine! It's heavenly here in heaven! Okay, so we're going to take the uh, zucchini and chop, chop, chop! Now to make them special, you know, I already rinsed them off, to make them special, you, what you want to do is slice them diagonally, like that. Always keeping your eye on the knife and your fingers. We're going for a thin, a thin cut because we're going to cook fast in butter. Ah, yes. Boom. Get that pan hot. Dave, I sure hope you can change back into 38 inch pants for the show. Dude, I wear these 40s in the show. I do. Well, you, you can't see it, but I'm wearing a, a, a full body vest in case I get any gunshots through the front window. And it goes all the way to my groin area, so it's, it's an extra inch around my waist. Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's high tech. Dragon skin. I don't like talking about it. But yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and put a couple pats of butter in here. So about a half of the butter I had in my hand, we're going to put right in there like that. Throw that down there on the pan and throw the, the zucchini in with it. Oh, I'm definitely going in for more. Okay. I will, this will not stand. No. Okay, so just put it in there with the butter. Cover it up. You want a good tight seal. This needs a little uh, stirry worry. So I'm going to take the spatula and stir that again. And I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. Wow, perfect. Just go all the way to the bottom. Give it a lift. There's one ingredient that this doesn't have. And if you can remember what, what I do at this point, it's the secret to the meal. I'll, I'll wait. The quiz will be in three minutes. No, actually, I think you know what I'm going to do here. Patty LaBelle number three. I want you to throw a few shots of a mild Cholula or Tabasco or Patty LaBelle number three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just seven shakes and you're good. No more, no less. Alright, man. Now you can always put a little garlic powder on top. But you don't need to have any, uh, you don't have need to end any um, extra ingredients salt wise. Otherwise, your salt will be too high. Are you too high right now? I bet you are. I'm looking right at you, buddy. Jim, your mom told you to not do that. Okay.
is your webcam, dude. Yeah. You got to get these webcam covers. They're the best technology and the cheapest technology in the market. That's right. Park, I hear Sarah. Hold on. getting colder that was Sarah okay everybody let's do this um, yeah I'm gonna give that uh, let this cook it doesn't have to have any water in it just let it cook with the butter on it it's kind of interesting the way it cooks it's very fast I'll splash a little water on it after it gets the the grill side of the of the zucchini and the yellow squash Okay, so I have a couple of things I need to do. I want to get this pan cleaned off because it's uh, it's got some scum in it. See that? So we'll get the scum off the bottom. And there we go. Easier to clean it now than later. Yeah. I just cleaned this uh, the other day. I cleaned all my uh, stainless steel where I did the full clean. All the way down to the bottom of the pan. I'd show you the bottom, but right now I'm using those pans. So, And I found a little extra spaghetti in case you're hungry. For those people that are really hungry. Gee, Dave, I didn't know you wasted everything. I don't waste anything. That's the point. Okay, we're coming in on the uh, final minutes where we're going to fuse the ingredients. Now, I'll take a little water and put it right in the squash. Just a touch. Give that sizzle, rotate, rotate, rotate. Yeah, Julia Child said that, you know, God made butter to be a little piece of heaven. And that's how she described it. So I cook with unsalted butter. So if you want to salt the dish or use salted butter, that's, that actually tastes better. But because I'm on a, a relatively modified diet, always watching salt and sugar and carbos, Oh, and I have certain new allergies I'm dealing with, like peanuts. It's like, not a serious allergy, but it's enough to make, make me notice. My whole intestine system just locks up. It's like, wait a second. I mean, it actually seems normal. That's the, the really weird part about it, is when you're eating the peanuts and you're going, wow, this is really, I think I'll take another handful of peanuts. And you know, you're, when you get older, it's like, wait a second, that's too many peanuts, man. There's a thing in peanuts called lectin. And, uh, some people have a real allergy to it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? You probably have someone in your family that gets near a peanut and they freak out. And they, you know. Well, I'm, I'm cutting peanuts out of my uh, life for a long time, if not forever. Although I did buy six containers that I have to sit there and put them in food storage. Oh, it's ridiculous. You know, I was all set to start pounding more peanuts. And, you know, I, I also think that they're, they're GMO and you know, I can't find non-GMO peanuts that are organic, so all I can do is find organic peanut butter. So I have that. And when I went to the regular GMO peanuts, I got this allergy effect. So I was eating peanut butter on toast for a, a long time, and I said, you know, I think I'll buy some of those unsalted regular peanuts that they sell, like planters. That's when things started going south for me. Well, my whole intestines kind of went through a, like a rebound thing. You know, like, what's going on? And it was, it was weird. It was like I was eating hot food or something, spicy food. It's like, wait a second, I'm just coming down off peanuts. So the, uh, the peanuts make your intestines do a lot of weird things from what I, I hear and what I've read. A lot of people who have uh, colitis should stay away from those kinds of products. Yeah, not good. I even, and just to be on the safe side, I cut out, you got to break everything up. So if you have a slice that's not broken, you got to slice, break it. Come on, buddy. There you go. This is still cooking at a level hot, at a level three. 
I'm going to turn the entire uh, sauce off over here. And I'm going to bring uh, half of the ingredients in and put it on top of the spaghetti to let it set. So let's start doing that. Yeah, I'm going to bring a big ladle here. Actually, I think I'll, yeah, I'll use this ladle. All right. I normally don't like cooking with plastic, but I'm going to make an exception here. Now, the squash is still cooking. I'm going to go ahead and take, yeah, put the uh, sauce down first, a little bit of the sauce, and kind of move it in. Nice. Smells great. And then take big, huge pieces of meat, grab two of them. This will feed four people right there. Kind of give it a break. And I normally put, put the spaghetti sauce at the dish, but I just want to make sure I have enough here for everything. I think it's good. Okay. I'll top it off a little bit at the top there. There you go. Okay, this will be enough for like four people. Covering that. This back here, let me see if I have some beans that can go in there right now. Yeah, there we go. Here's a, another add-on for the meal. If you want to take half of that sauce and do black beans, it's only a dollar and fifty for these things. Yeah, if you can buy them on sale usually. This is not past due, it's an organic bean, black bean. Yeah, I'm just gonna start a chili back here and you can add more cayenne and chili powder. So what I'm gonna do is take a little of my Berberi uh, Ethiopian mix right here. Number one, let me get rid of that thing. That's dangerous. Yeah. Take uh, a little Berberi, uh, which is just a little cayenne mixed with chili powder. Doesn't take a lot. I'm just going to put it on top of this. Very light. It's going to give it that edge that you need for your time. And you can use other things too, like cumin. I've got some cumin here. To kind of give it a little ed extra edge. Because when you make a chili, you want to, and you can add corn to this. Uh, get uh, Del Monte makes a non-GMO corn, which is really good. You don't want to get the GMO corn, but that would make a nice Tex-Mex chili. I use the the whole thing. I use the sauce and everything. It has salt in it, but not too much. All right, and put that together, and let leave it on simmer. I'm just gonna let that come up to its own boil again and then turn it off for later. And it'll be a fantastic chili. Isn't that nice? Yeah, you won't, you won't be disappointed. All right. That's how to spread a meal. Okay, I'm gonna take this right here. Give it one last stir. Perfect. Go all the way to the bottom and pick up the butter and let it rotate on top of the, the squash. I even use the uh, the lid to kind of hold it in. Okay. All right. This is good. Turn everything off. I'm gonna leave that on a simmer in the back, but that's pretty much done. I don't want to overcook it, so I'm gonna actually pull it off the burner. Okay. I am ready to go in the other room now. But you can see the meal meal galore that we have here. You can double that size with, with twice the pasta, still staying within budget, or you can go to the, the, bean, is, uh, the bean angle. Squash is a dollar a pound is unusual, so you gotta shop around for that kind of price. It, in some stores, it's like 250 a pound, so yeah, you're not gonna get the same deals. Okay, I'm gonna go in the other room now. I'm gonna upload this video, and I will see you guys later. Thank you for ha having uh, watched the show. Take care. Bye-bye.